Paul, first win straight away. Many congratulations. How does that feel? Yeah, really good. Like we've had an amazing week. Um, the uh, the players have been excellent and they've been really well coached and looked after before we come here. Liam's done a really good job, um, and we just you know haven't done a lot, truth be told. And we'd like to do more as the games go by. But um, to win and to score away from home, my wife told me that we haven't scored away from home before, so I've married well, don't I? <laughs> Um, so uh, yeah, to score two, and especially the f I'm buzzing off the first goal because, as a centre forward, when the ball goes in behind, you know we're near it. It's easy just to think, do you know what? Yeah, it's going through to the keeper, but Carlo didn't. He made it hard, made it hard, forced the error, and, and took his goal for. So for him to score two goals is good. And I thought uh, the whole back line, you know, limited them to very little. So uh, really, really pleased with them. It's nice because. You know, everyone at the club's been so nice to us all. It's been a bit humbling, really. Um, so it's nice for us to give them a win, knowing that, you know, it's cheered the club up. You mentioned that first goal, and you said it on Thursday in your pre-match media about the fact that breaking the duck away from home, that it could be that chasing a back pass that gets kicked to you or, or something like that. And that yeah, pretty yeah. much epitomised it, that Colo could have easily, I think it was the last couple of minutes of the half, yeah. could think conserve the energy for, yeah, for the second yeah. half, that he does that. And you mentioned there, forces the error and, and puts it away brilliantly. Yeah, excellent. I mean, I did a tongue-in-cheek comment yesterday, which wasn't tongue-in-cheek, about, look, what, what should the centre forward do here? And they were saying, uh, run. And I said, well, what would happen if he didn't run? Uh, and I made a joke saying, well, if he didn't run, he'd be sitting behind me. You have to run to play for us. You have to. Even when you're tired, you have to. And winning football games is painful, I know. The lads are exhausted in there, but they'll feel great once they get their lungs back. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing says us more than that. I thought the lads' pressing was excellent today. Look, this is a, an excellent Cambridge uh, football team who are higher than us in the league who play really good football, but our pressing, we just didn't give them any time on the ball. From the midfield three, the wing-backs were great. I mean, they're going to sleep well. Uh, and it, it epitomised it really with the front two. So uh, all in all, um, couldn't have asked for a, a greater performance, really. You mentioned on Thursday, James Collins was your cup of tea. Has he been elevated to your type of cup of coffee now? Because that was oh, brilliant on. for him. Hang or is, has he got a little bit more work whoa, to do yet? Whoa. He didn't get a hat-trick, did he? <laughs> you can't become my Americano without a hat-trick. But he can be my first cup of tea of the day. No, excellent. And I know, obviously, I, I, you know, I've watched Carlo's career for years. And like I said to you before, he scored against me at uh, New York, didn't he? Which I weren't best pleased with. But I knew, you know, I know he's my cup of tea. Will Vokes, my ex-player, texted me today saying, look, Collo's right up your street, Gaffer. And he is. He works really hard. He's really committed. He leads the line really well. And he scored his two goals. And I said to him when I came in, look, you'll love working for us because we're all about, you know, crosses, getting the ball in the box. And ironically, he didn't score off either cross, uh, a cross. So it shows what I know. But yeah, really pleased for him, but just really pleased for the team. You could see how happy they were after. Uh, to get it, oh here he comes now, it's all about him, goodness me. It will be all about him because he scored the two goals, but in terms of a team performance, brilliant back to front, clean sheet as well, you must be absolutely elated with that. Yeah, clean sheet, I thought you know when we needed to, came and caught it, took the pressure off, uh, marshalled really well, um, and like Curtis weren't feeling great yesterday, um, so really pleased that he got through the game. He looked like he was chugging a bit, in fairness, but he's been ill. But yeah, limited him to very few chances. On another day, you know, it's all right for me to say because I'm the, the manager of the opposition, but on another day we could have had four or five, really. Um, and that's what we've got to try and get better at because, you know, on another day you're 1-0 up. With 15 minutes to go, they get one, and then you know you could see a, an opportunity to win a game, to lose a game very quickly. So it's always about getting the second, the third, the fourth, and showing no mercy really. But really, really pleased with them. I, I knew this was a good group, hence why I left a, you know, a very secure job in the championship. It is like a. I just think that if they, if we go on a run and we believe, and look, we're going to lose games, I know that. But um, generally, if that's their work ethic, it, it, it's, it, you know, it gives me massive hope that we can achieve something. What pleased you most today was it sort of the fact that you've had was it four days training with them and they took so much into the game so early on? Yeah, I think uh, my my favourite thing was um, just their effort really. And like I said, loads of times, you can eat, winning's not easy. You have to be, you have to put yourself through a lot of pain. And I thought just that we we pressed harder. You know, when we had to, we turned them. And look, there's different ways to win football games. And in League Three or League One, whatever you want to call it, look, sometimes you just have to turn them. That's how football is. You can't always be, you know, the, the passing team that you know plays their way out of trouble. Sometimes you have to turn them and cause problems. And like when Will came on, uh, as Dobbs did prior to that, we kept stretching the game. So I like the fact that the lads ran hard and they just played a couple of different ways when they had to. And and, and that's down to them. You know, they're not robots. They make decisions. And you know, more often than not today, they made some really good ones. 
No David McGoldrick today. He was the only one that um, wasn't available previously. What, what's the situation with him? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, he's injured, I think. Uh, so I don't know any more detail than that. I think he's injured. Well, he's injured. I know he's injured. I'm not too sure. I've had that many emails off the club this week. I don't know which one uh, which one said about Didzy's injury. I spoke to him. He's just got a bit of a sore groin. I think he's going to be a couple of weeks, a couple of three weeks, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah, obviously we want him back because he's, he's, he's another diamond for us going forward. So um, get him in the final third of the pitch and anything can happen. So yeah, he's out. Obviously Corey Smith's got his uh, toe issue. Um, uh, so they're the two senior pros missing and hopefully you know they'll join back because playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday the way we play is going to take a lot of players. So um, yeah, it's a good start and, uh, and that's all it is but a good start. Final word for the fans today, you had 1,400 behind the goal and they made some noise, didn't they? Yeah, excellent. I mean, I, there's a couple of songs that stuck in my head um, and I couldn't understand what they were saying to me at the end. They wanted me to do some sort of, ooh, that one, didn't they? The bounce. Yeah, I don't know if that's me, the bounce. I'm just a general wave and uh, smiley way is more me, really. But, yeah, excellent. I really appreciate it. And like, the players appreciate it. So, you know, like in the 75th minute, if you cheer a tackle, or, you know, it helps. I'm telling you as a footballer, it helps. When you feel like everyone's on your side and everything's applauded and it, it just makes you run that little bit harder. So, look, the wins for everyone at the football club. I said it's the lads in there. Everyone who's travelled, everyone who's spent money in, in pretty uh, dour times, really. Everyone who's done that. Like, the players are just, a, are just the embodiment of the fans. And I thought today... If I was a fan of Derby County, which I am now, obviously, uh, I'd be really pleased with the efforts the, lad put, the lads put in. You don't always get what you deserve in life, but I thought today we did. And yeah, I thank the fans. I thought they were hilarious at the end and a couple of the songs I thoroughly enjoyed. And luckily my daughter wasn't here because they were swearing in them. But I really enjoyed it. And hopefully, you know, they go home being really proud to be Derby fans as I do as a Derby manager. So it's been a good day. Fantastic. Well done today. Thanks, mate. Thank you.